Charles Heaston. The speaker, after a string of roles in such critically acclaimed hits A Ten Commandments in 1952, Ben-Hur, 1959, a American actor, Charlton Heston became increasingly active in politics, though he is remembered today for his activism on behalf of conservative causes such as unrestricted gun rights. His original stands were left-leaning. He was an active supporter of the 1964 Civil Rights Act and supported gun control measures following the 1968 assassination of Senator Robert F. Kennedy. Like many of his generation, however, Houston pivoted towards a more conservative stance in 1980s. By the 1990s, he was fully engaged in culture wars, using his high profile to advance conservative positions in numerous speeches and interviews. His activism on behalf of the Second Amendment's rights to bear arms was practically pronounced. He became the president of and spokesperson for the National Rifle Association, NRA, in 1998, a post he would hold for five years. During this time, the increasingly powerful NRA continued to actively resist calls for gun control, mobilizing to defeat several gun control measures at the federal level. Houston's steadfast defense of Second, Second Amendment as bulwark against government tyranny made him synonymous, synonymous with the organization. Less than a year after 1999 Columbine High School shooting, he stood proudly at the 2000 NRA convention and uttered now famous gun control rights rallying cry i'll give you my gun when you pray pry it for my cold dead hands heeson continued to be vocal supporter of the second amendment rights until his death in 2008 the speech the second amendment to the U.S. Constitution states a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. There are multiple interpretations of this language. Many on the left see it is endorsement of sensible gun control measures, while many on the right see it as upholding an unlimited individual right to gun ownership. In 1997, Charleston Heeson took the stage at the National Press Club Journalism Awards lunch on to defeat the latter interpretation, issuing a full threat defense of the amendment at the time of heightening political polarization and increasing calls of gun control. Houston used his speech to abdicate the language idea of Second Amendment as premius inter pares, first among equals. He argued that without the Second Amendment, people stand no chance of defeating their own rights and freedoms. Of religion, freedom of speech, etc., from potentially tyrannical government. This argument for gun ownership as a necessary condition for freedom is one of Houston's would continue to use after the start of his NRA presidency. Here, he's in caused his audience of being full out of touch and hypocritical 
contrasting their beliefs and experiences to those of the average American, he concludes by ca calling on the journalist in the room to stand for the Second Amendment as they would for the first. Detective reasoning, in contrast to inductive reasoning, which interference of princ general principles from particular examples, deductive reasoning applies general principles to specific cases in order to make judgments about them. For example, we accept the truth of the general principle of professors teach students okay thank you for listening to me